Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss about the the continuation part of the compounding compound machine. So you know about the compound machine, compound motor or compound generator, compound DC machine. That is a simple thing. Name itself it is a combination of series as well as shunt winding connection. This series winding and shunt winding, the combined flux is given. So depends on the combined flux we have the we are designed the compo compound DC machine name itself compound combination right here we have different types of uh, compound DC machines so those are based upon the degree of compounding so on the degree of compounding there are three types of compounding machines the first machine is over compound machine second machine is under compound machine third machine is flat level compound machine so in this over compound machine we have we can we can define over compound machine is the load voltage v is more than the generated emf the load voltage v is more than the generated emf then it is called the over compound machine what is under compound machine here the load voltage V less than the E generated voltage is under compound machine. What is flat level compound machine? A simple thing both load voltage and generated EMF will be the same. This is for the, gener for the generator. The same thing is applied for the motor also, DC motor also. So in this DC motor generated EMF will become back EMF the load voltage will become the supply voltage load voltage will become the supply voltage this is only the difference so depends on this we can divide that so we can we can understand by by like this so here generated voltage is uh, load voltage is e is there v is there fix and for over compound machine Generally, the over compound machine V is V is E is less. E is less. That means E will be low value. And what about V? Here both will be same. Here this, this will be different. So this will be varied by varying the flux x-axis. The load voltage will be varied like this. Okay. Here, this is about the degree of compounding. Next, based on the connection types, compound machines are divided are two types. One is the long shunt, another one is the short shunt. How can the connections? So, by observing the connections, you can understand the difference between the long shunt as well as the short shunt. First, before that long shunt and short the short shunt so now we are going for the now we are going for the first machine is the long shunt so we already discussed about this compound machine the configuration of the how the arrangement of the windings we already discussed here here first we will entering into the long shunt dc machine or long shunt dc generated so you can take it as long shunt dc generator so you know the reverse operation of the dc long shunt dc generator dc generator and dc motor both will be a small difference is there okay so first we will look into the long shunt dc generator here so just observe here this is the armature so armature this is the generator that's why the EMF will be generated across the armature that is represents with the EG and this is the series winding this arrangement is a series winding which consisting of the series resistance this arrangement is the shunt winding it consisting of the shunt arrangement if you observe here the series winding is compared with the series winding and shunt winding shunt winding is high that's why this name is the long shunt okay oh, i will write here rse is series 
winding series winding resistance series winding resistance what about rsh this is the shunt winding resistance okay yeah and the generated emf is generated and uh, generate whenever generated emf emf generates the armature current will flow and the same armature current will be flow through the series resistance then after that the current will be divided divided the the current will be flow shunt current into the shunt winding the remaining current will flow through the load current okay and this is the load voltage load voltage the load voltage is like this we can name it as the load we can name it as the load this is the load voltage so generator emf generator the generator emf winding flow through the series winding and after that the current will be the same current will be flow through the shunt winding and to the load winding okay we can write the equation for this how can we write the equation generator emf is negative and positive and this is positive and negative and load also positive and the negative so i will write like this the loop equation here so source source is always negative because it will lose the power and we have armature current how many drops armature resistance has some drop and series resistance has some drop so i will write armature resistance plus series resistance okay and with that we have the load voltage that is the v and we have some brush drop will equal to zero so always better to take brush drop is approximately equal to zero from that from that we can write the generated emf equation the eg value equal to the drop across armature and as well as series winding plus voltage okay the armature current value is like this that is the shunt current plus the load current because if you apply the kcl here kcl here then this entering current will be equal to the these two exiting currents okay so how can we find out the shunt current value so just observe here this is the shunt current flowing through this voltage okay but the voltage across this is nothing but the load voltage or you can take it as the v so i will find out the shunt winding current equal to the load voltage by shunt resistance shunt voltage load voltage by shunt resistance yeah how can we find out the armature current so look at here from this equation we can find out the armature current so the armature current equal directly i can write here if you want to find out the armature current the armature current equal to generated emf minus v by armature resistance plus series resistance when brush drop is neglected when brush drop is neglected this is about the all the formulas related to the long shunt dc generator okay next next we will move into the short shunt dc generator just observe here this winding long shunt winding and this winding short shunt winding this winding is the less that's why it is called short short shunt machine so in that machine i will take the example of short shunt generator short shunt generator okay so from this i will explain here same thing here the emf will be generated across the armature because it is a generator and the current armature current will be like this the armature current after that it will be enter into the shunt current and some of the current is entering into the series current the same series current will flow to the load current and this is the load and load has some voltage load voltage okay so these are the things from this we can write 
generated emf how can we write so this is the negative and positive and this is the positive and negative and this is the positive and negative again apply the kcl we can write it as a shunt resistance and i will write the series resistance from this we will write the generated emf minus eg plus we can write the load current and both are same series current plus but armature current has some drop armature drop and the brush drop plus v equal to zero from this we can how can we find out the shunt current shunt current is shunt current we can write the two equations so this is the first equation and shunt current is from load voltage minus both drops will be same so i will write from this point to this voltage both are same so the voltage plus series drop by rsh or otherwise from generated we can write the shunt current another thing from generated emf minus the armature resistance by rsh also we will get the shunt current again we will write the relation between armature current and the shunt current is like this armature current equal to shunt current plus load current or the series current okay this is about the short shunt generator we can write for long shunt also or short shunt uh, we can write for the long shunt and short shunt dc motor also okay this is about the compound machine and classification of compound machine long shunt dc generator and short shunt dc generator okay i hope all of you understand the session thank you